Estimating distances. Walking your way through English conversation. Hello, learners. Welcome back to our channel, where we make English language learning fun and accessible. Today, we're going to tackle an interesting aspect of conversational English, estimating distance. This is a useful skill that can enhance your day-to-day -day communication, especially when you're giving or seeking directions. So, let's take the first step towards mastering this topic. Estimating distances plays a key role in our day-to-day -day conversation. It helps us to navigate our surroundings and interact effectively with others. When you're conversing in English, being able to describe the distance between places not only shows your proficiency in the language but also helps you communicate practical and valuable information. When we talk about distance in English, we commonly use measurements like feet, yards, miles, and kilometers. But when we're estimating distances in a conversation, especially in an urban or suburban setting, we often talk in terms of time or steps. Here's what you should know. A stone's throw away, this means something is very close by. You might use this phrase when talking about a destination that is just a couple of minutes walk away. Around the corner, this phrase is used when your destination is very close, usually just a short walk away. A short walk, this usually refers to a distance that can be covered in about 5 to 15 minutes of walking. A 10-minute walk, or a 15-minute walk, these phrases are self-explanatory and give a more specific idea of how far away something is. Remember, these are all estimates and not precise measurements. The exact time it takes to walk somewhere can depend on various factors like your walking speed or the number of intersections. The best way to get comfortable with estimating distances is through practice. Start by estimating distances in your own neighborhood. How far is the grocery store? How long does it take to walk to the park? As you practice, you'll get better at estimating distances, and these phrases will become a natural part of your English conversation skills. And there you have it. You've taken an important step in mastering conversational English. Remember, estimating distances is not just about accuracy. It's also about helping the other person visualize and understand the distance. So keep practicing, keep speaking, and soon you'll be estimating distances like a pro. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more interesting topics in English language learning. Happy learning, everyone!